He chose to give us something we didn't deserve. Amen. Instead of giving us what we did deserve, he chose to give us love. Now, we didn't deserve God's love. Amen. Because we did everything big enough and bad enough we wanted to do, Sister Baskin. That's right. When God told us not to sin against him, he so, said, oh, oh God, I'm doing it anyway. When God says stop the lying and stop the cussing and stop the stealing, stop the murdering, stop the fornicating, we still say, God, I'm doing it anyway. Amen. But God said, look here, even though you're doing it anyway, I'm going to pour out some more love because I realize that you need power. I realize that you need it. See, see that that's, that's the fullness of God's love. It's an unlimited supply. See, Father, we can take a, one picture and we can think that this big picture of water is going to last us for a lifetime. But, but, but as we keep pouring, we'll see that that picture will stop the water or start going down and you'll stop. You'll, all of a sudden, you'll start, start losing, losing water, losing water until it's completely gone. See, see, that's the way that, that the earth shows love. That's the way that the world is showing love to people. It, it has this picture of water and it runs out over time because, because every time you do something to it, now all of a sudden that supply is starting to run out. Now, now, now every time you come against me, that supply is starting to run out. But when you got that agape love of Jesus Christ, that unlimited picture, every time you pull something out, it refills itself. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Unlimited supply. Amen. Amen. See, we know that this world has the opposite, the negative of what Jesus is getting. Amen. The world has an unlimited supply of hate. Come on, brother. They have an unlimited supply of coming against you. I have, they have an unlimited supply of bike biting. They have an unlimited supply of fornication. Amen. They have an unlimited supply Amen. of racism. They have an unlimited supply of don't care nothing about you. They have an unlimited supply of stepping on your head Amen. every time they want to go up. Amen. That's the world. That's the world's way. Now, the world's way say, I'm going to love you because you love me. I'm going to be good to you because you're good to me. Uh -huh. See, the world has so many different ways of showing this love. Amen. That's one way. The other way is that I'm only going to love you at a certain point, but when you do something to me, get away from me. Amen. The world only loves its own. Yep. And if you're going to be a part of it, it'll love you as long as you are a part of it. Yep. But when you come out from among them and be ye separate, like the Lord said, the world begin to turn its back on you. The world begin to look at you and say, look here, I understand you over there and I'm over here. So therefore, I'm going to go my direction and you stay on your side. When you are different, when you come out from among them, they say, look, I don't want, if they don't want to change, they don't want to be around you. Amen. That's legit, brother. That's just the way it is. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, your love, your love for people it should be totally different because it should be under some, some unlimited supply of God's love. <coughs> Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Now, now it says here, it says, the Bible tells us in Hebrews 12 and 2, okay, we can turn there. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our, of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the, the what? The cross. Okay? And it says, despising the shame, it is sat down at the right hand of, of the throne of God. Okay? So Jesus went through all of this, all this, all this pain and torture and all of this, this shame of being called names and, and being looked at as, as someone that was a sinner. Because when you are crucified, the people that are being crucified are either thieves, as you can see, it was a thief and robber on the cross. Yeah. Or if you're being stoned, you to murder somebody or you to commit an adultery. Amen. So if one of those two are showing up, that means that you are a sinner. Amen. Amen? Mm -hmm. So at this time, they, have, they, they took 
Jesus and put him up there as if he was a sinner. So, so that's being shameful, Pastor. After all this time, he was going around preaching the good news. Mm -hmm. Getting people saved and to believe the good news. Yes. Performing miracles. Yes. He was doing all, all these good things for people. Healing people. Yes. But then, at the end, the last time they see you is being put up on the cross as a sinner. That's being shameful. Amen. That's being, being now, now think about it for a moment is that he said, look, I despise the shame. Amen. I didn't speak and have the angels to come down and destroy everybody. Oh, I didn't open my mouth. I kept my mouth closed as if I was dumb and I couldn't speak. Amen. He didn't begin to plead for his life. He didn't begin to plead and say, look, you put me up here. I didn't do anything wrong. But he said, look here, y'all can look at me the way that you want to look at me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to despise this thing. I'm going to go ahead and do what I have to do. Because I realize my father has stopped me up for a mission. And this mission I am going to fulfill. Thank you, Jesus. So, so he decided to allow love to flow. Amen. 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 Now let's go to, now it says also, it says Matthew 11 and 29. Okay. And it says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Okay? So, 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 so we need to be taken upon who Jesus is. Amen. Amen. And saying, Lord, I see how, I see how you handle the persecution. Amen. I see how you handle people coming against you. Amen. I see how you handle the name calls. Amen. I see how, I, I see how you handle all of that, Lord. Help me to learn it. And I see I'm learning of you. So this is how I should be doing. Amen. Now it says, find me and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. The Lord said that he is gentle. He is humble. Amen. Amen. He said, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. See, sometimes, Pastor, when we speak up, we speak up because we want to prove a point to somebody. I speak up because I don't want nobody to think that I'm soft. Come on, brother. Sure right. Sure right. Okay? And, and, and these are the things that we do see. But Jesus said, look, I am meek and I am lowly at heart. I am humble. I'm not going to say anything to try to prove a point to you. I'm just going to continue to go about preaching the gospel. Trying to get you to see the right thing. Amen. That way, I'm not going to testify of anything that I am doing. Amen? But I'm going to testify of the Father. Hallelujah. Amen? Now, it says, um, let's go to John 13 and 34 and 35. It says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. Sir. That ye love one another. That ye love one another. Amen. That ye love one another. Amen. Okay? That, it says, it says that ye love one another as I have loved you. Amen. See, so, so many times we don't love people the way that God has loved us. Amen. See, we think that we are, sometimes we think that we are so special that we don't the want to receive that treatment. That type of love. Amen. But God is pouring the love on you for you to pour it on somebody else. Amen. Amen. You don't know that, that, that the love that you're showing to somebody can change somebody's heart? Can pull them out of the situation. They ain't say, I don't understand why they continue to do this when I'm constantly doing this. Amen. You think it ain't bothering them? Amen. So we have to continue to love. Okay? Okay, let's go to the next verse, 35. It says, by this shall all men know. Here we go. See, this is what I was saying here of earlier. This is what sets us apart. This is what sets me apart from a sinner man. He said, what? By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. He said, that this is how people are going to know that you belong to me. This is how people are going to know that you're changed, that you're not the same person you used to be. Amen. Amen. This is how they're going to know because you'll continue to love despite of what.
what they're doing. Amen. Amen. And it says, if ye have love one to another. Amen. It's because of the love that you're showing. That a godly love that is unlimited. Jesus so said, this is how people are going to know that you're different. Yep. Yep. This is how people are going to know that you're my child. Amen. 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 Now, it says, if we say that we are children of God, we should love one another. Amen. Not hating on each other. Amen. Or disliking one another. Amen. If we say that we are children of God, we should be loving one another, yes. not hating one another, on, or disliking one another. Amen. But we should be loving each other. Amen. See, there's so many times we preach back over and over again, okay, I hurt when you hurt. But sometimes some people, even some Christians, they get a kick out of seeing somebody be, 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 being put down because they done did something to them. Somebody did something to me, okay, wait, you're going to get it. And when it turn on them, that's what you get. That's not the way that God wants it to be. When somebody has done something to you, if you love them with this unlimited supply of a godly love, if something starts happening to the person that has done something to you, we need to be praying for God to have mercy on them and ask for God to get them out of the situation that they is. That is not the way that it's supposed to be. We are supposed to be loving God, and if we're going to love God, he said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Amen. Amen. Now, my body starts start, start acting bad, Sister Danes, and it starts hurting me. I know when it's time to eat, I ain't going to hold back that plate from it. Amen. <laughs> but I'm going to feed it. Yep. I'm going to still be good to my body, even yep. though my body ain't acting yep. right. Yep, yep, right. All right now. But here we are. But if we love our neighbors and we love ourselves, if I'm going to take care of my body and make sure that it's eating, even when it ain't act right, I need to make sure that I'm loving that person even though that person ain't acting right. Amen. Amen. See, sometimes we forget all about that. Scripture Bible said, oh, you done something to me, I have the right. Well, Jesus have the right to destroy us, but yes, he didn't he do it. Yes, he does. He has the right to condemn all of us, but he, don't, he ain't doing it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You understand? So, so that's why we need to be as Jesus is being. We need to show that agape love as God is showing. Amen. Amen. Now, it says, 18, okay. It says, um, let me finish reading this. The, the children of, of, of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Amen. I am the Lord. So we got to love each other as we love ourselves. Amen. Amen. Now let's go to 1 Corinthians 13 and 1. I'm trying to get down to these last set of scriptures here and I'll be done. Okay, it says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Amen. So he said, I'm just going to be good for nothing. I'm going to be good with nothing because I can't use these type of instruments to do anything. Amen. Okay? But what but, but he said, but, but he said, he said, if I don't love no matter what I'm doing, I can speak in tongues until the cows begin to fly. Amen. It means nothing if charity is not flowing in me. Come on. Amen? This is showing you how important it is to love. Amen. Amen? Now, let's go to the next verse. It says, And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I can, could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. Hallelujah. See, we, we'll look at somebody that will perform that type of miracle power, that will come up and say, okay, I got enough faith, mountain be removed, and, and you see with your own eyes, see that mountain go and fall into the midst of the sea. You're going to get, oh, yeah, this, this, 
get rid of them. God, we're going to run to this person and we're going to, hey, hey, I need you to pray for this. I need you to do this right here. Amen. I need you to pray because I want the baby to have the same faith as you, you have. But not knowing that the charity, God's love is not flowing in that. Amen? Paul says his best. He said, I am nothing without charity. Amen. I don't care how, how close you say I am to God because I'm perform this miracle. If charity is not flowing in me, I am nothing. Amen. 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 Next verse. It says, and though I be sold all my goods to feed the poor. So now let me go. He's doing something else good. Pastor, he, he's, he's taking all of his goods to make sure that the poor is eating. To make sure that if you don't have enough, you don't have enough if you're, with, if you're around me. Amen. Amen. He said, though I do this, he said, and though I give my body to be burned, to be a martyr for God. Amen. Amen. To be a martyr for the gospel's Amen. sake. Amen. Even though if I do this and have not charity, it profited me nothing. So Paul said, look, even if I give a great sacrifice to be a mortal for the gospel's sake, if, if charity is not falling in me, I am not going to heaven. Amen. It, it does not profit in me nothing with God. It may profit, profit in me something with you because you're going to remember what Come I on. did. But with God, Come it on. means nothing. Amen. 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 Next verse. Now he's going to begin to talk about what charity does. Amen. What love does. Amen. The true love of God. This is the godly love that he's yes. talking about. Yes. He said, charity suffered long and is kind. Charity envied not. Charity uh, avaunted it not itself. Amen. It's not puffed up. Amen. Okay? Charity is not going to boast in itself. Amen. Okay? Charity charity, uh, uh, um, charity Charity is not going to come against somebody. Amen. Charity is not going to be mad with someone Amen. just because you did something to them. Amen. Okay? But charity is going to suffer long with somebody even if a person just keep coming against me past the over and over again. It doesn't matter how many times they come against me. Why? Because charity is flowing in me. That agape love is going to cause me to want to love the person even more. That agape love is going to cause to the Amen. person even more because it's the godly love that is flowing in me. Amen. See, it, it's not puffed up. Amen. It's not easy to make charity, charity mad. Charity is not going to get mad at you. Amen. But charity is suffering long. Mm -hmm. See, some people see the world's love say, if you do something to me, get away from me. See, we need to make sure that when we come into the house of God and we come and, and at the door of God, that we need to check that love. Amen. Is it right? Is it of God? Amen. That's the first thing we need to be checking. But some of the times I'm checking my bank account before I come in. I'm checking my phone before I come in. I'm checking on what's going on at the house. I'm checking on what sister so-and-so is at. I'm checking on all these different things. I'm checking on to see if my fate right. I'm checking on all these different things. But what about love? Amen. Amen. Now, it says, verse 5, it says, Do it not behave itself seemly, unseemly. Seek it not her own. Mm -hmm. It's not easily provoked. Mm -hmm. Think it no evil. Amen. See, the love of, see, the love of God is not going to think evil of a person Amen. if they do something to me. Amen. I don't want something bad to happen to them because why? The love of God is flowing through me. That a godly love is causing me to want something good to happen to them despite of what they did. Amen. Amen. Verse 6. It said, here we go. Rejoice it not in iniquity, but rejoice it in the truth. Amen. Amen. Next verse. It says, bear all things, believe in all things, hope in all things, endure in all things. Amen. See, that is a big one right there, especially when it says, Bear it all things and endure it all things. See, 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 we don't want our love to remain in that. We want to be able to see something happen to the person thinking that that's going to get their attention. 
But the love will grab a hold of somebody's attention faster than anything else will. Amen. Amen. Now, last verse of this one. Verse 8. Chariot never fell. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. See, because at the end, perhaps when we go up there to be with God, love is still going to be up there. Amen. Everything else is going to hinder. Amen. That love is going to be up there. Yes. Charity, will be. Charity is always going to be there because the Bible, the Bible said, if a man does not love, he knows not God. Because God is.